Hi, it's Kara and Shayna from the Sweet and Savvy Life here for some TikTok cottage cheese ice cream key lime pie flavored. We really had never had cottage cheese ice cream prior to a very special request from Shana's friend, Laura, who said, you know, I really like watching all of your recipes, but have you ever thought about the TikTok cottage cheese ice cream? And I said to Shana, well, what is the TikTok cottage cheese ice cream? And I had to do my research. But honestly, there weren't that many recipes out there. Um, and she, for some reason, gave us the idea of key lime pie. She basically gave us a mission. The whole idea for the video was from her. So we decided to create it. Yes. So we really um, kind of had to go from scratch on it. What I did was I really researched my cottage cheese TikTok ice cream. And then beyond that, because there was nothing key lime pie flavored, I then researched what regular key lime pie ice cream um, ingredients are and kind of played around with what um, amount I was going to make and I chose to use the whole container of cottage cheese and adapt it so a lot of things came I remember to a third cup as you can see here and we have the um, recipe at our blog the sweet and savvy life uh, com, and we had actually done a short on this quite some time ago but we did feel it would be nice to do the entire recipe so you can see here we are putting in key lime juice also the entire container of cottage cheese as well as a third cup of honey Literally, that's all you need to put in the food processor. You could also probably use a blender, maybe even um, an immersion blender or a mixer if those were your only options. But I will say that it took some time. Honestly, I probably had to, as you can see here, putting the food processor on and off, on and off, on and off, until I felt it was smooth enough um, to then add in the next ingredient, which um, you'll see coming up. The cool thing about cottage cheese ice cream is it's really full of lots of protein. And I know that that's something that both Shane and I are trying to add into our diets as part of our healthy, like get fit after I had my baby and you just kind of snacked along with me. Um, we weren't always doing our best <laughs> adding in protein and um, just, I'm actually trying to do some carb cycling right now. Um, so yeah, I think this is perfect for it because no matter what day I'm on on my carb cycle, cottage cheese and um, protein is always um, a great part of any diet. Yeah, so this is a great recipe to add to your summer diet and enjoy a refreshing cold uh, ice cream treat at the end of the day. Yeah, because really um, you could probably decrease the amount of honey or use some sort of other type of sweetener. Um, and then your only major carb would be the graham cracker, which you could obviously omit. Um, but as you can see here, I did use a meat mallet and a bag to quickly crumble graham cracker. And that was our next ingredient in case anybody was wondering. Um, graham cracker goes so well with true key lime pie and it goes great in this ice cream as well so I'm now putting it into a glass container because it is going into the freezer um, instead of using a lid um, I actually used press and seal um, I just find that that really works well to seal in everything and it's just a nice tight fit and after that I'm going to put it in my lower freezer that's part of my main refrigerator and if you're wondering how long you need to wait for this delicious treat it's actually three hours and so after that you want to take it out and let it thaw a little bit and once you've given it just about 20-30 minutes to thaw maybe a little longer um, especially in days after the first day then you're going to scoop it in there and add a little more graham cracker crumbles because who doesn't love this yeah it gives it some great texture and flavor yeah so we really love this it would be perfect for a 
um, summer night and great for a 4th of July picnic. Thanks so much for joining us.